Hello everybody, my name's Simon Hinton and from those who have been following my work you will know that I have spent a lot of time in the last few years working with reincarnated Cathars and Templars and particularly holding retreats and visiting uh, the area in the south of France, the Languedoc region where the Cathars um, operated from particularly about a thousand years ago and more interestingly for me personally is also the fact that mystical France has a very strong link with the Christ and the Magdalena energies. Now there's many different interpretations of what happened after Jesus supposedly died or didn't die. Um, from my own experience and from my own perception I am a strong believer that the Christ didn't actually physically die at the time of the supposed crucifixion but in fact managed to escape from the cross or from the stake that he was impaled upon or they attempted to impale him on and escaped with the Magdalena, Mary Magdalene and lived in different parts of the world most notably the south of France and also many believe uh, visited also Glastonbury in England. Now whatever the historical aspect of it one thing that I do know from my own experience and that is the Magdalena energy is much more than a historic personage. In the same way as I believe that the Christ energy is much more than a historic personage, i.e. the male Christ energy. What I have found is that we can connect to the ideas behind the Christ and the Magdalena, which I believe they were deifications or avatars of. And I'm just going to speak a little bit today about the Magdalena. We've heard a lot about the male Christ and that has permeated uh, modern history and modern religious thinking over the last 2000 years in different ways of course. What is very interesting for me personally is I believe we are now entering a new age, a new aeon that many psychics, channelers, religious people and astronomers and astrologers also agree on. We're entering a new age of influence for humanity and one of the hallmarks of that new age is the end of patriarchal domination. But it's not the arise of matriarchal domination, it's rather the integration between two polarities, the masculine and the feminine. For 2000 years, religion and science and the world has been essentially run by men. Male thinking has taken over um, and unfortunately this has led to a world that isn't completely balanced in many ways. I'm sure most of you would agree. What we need now is a redressing of that balance and the return of the ideas of the Magdalena for me reflect those changes perfectly. So I've been doing a lot of work with the Magdalena energies. I say the Magdalena to differentiate it from the historic personage of Mary Magdalene who I believe was an avatar of the ancient female energy of a specific type that the Magdalena energy encapsulates. So what is the Magdalena energy? Well I will try and keep it as simple as possible just for these few minutes. For me the Magdalena energy is a representation of the Yin Goddess manifesting on this planet Earth. She encompasses an energy that's very much linked to the land, to the planet, to the matrices and ley lines and the, and the harmonic resonance that makes our planet unique and I have to say unfortunately has from my experience been blocked in many many ways. My work as a magician and healer working with magical groups, leading magical groups, part of that work is about unblocking the energies of the planet which we have been very successful at doing. What I've realized is that when we unblock the energies of the planet we also unblock the energies in our own light body. Why is that you may ask? Well let me explain. Our light bodies are microcosmic mirrors of the planet Gaia, Earth. So what happens when, when, when the planet gets blocked, so do we get blocked. We get shut down when the planet gets shut down. We are in resonance with this planet. As light beings that have incarnated physically we are in resonance with our environment. In simple terms, most of us who have some degree of sensitivity will recognize that when we go to certain places on the planet, we may feel calm, we may feel wonderful, we may feel at peace, we may feel a good energy. You don't have to be a psychic intuitive to recognize that some places 
have a great vibe. And conversely, most of us, whoever we are, have experienced places that do not have a good vibe. And when we go to somewhere that doesn't have a good vibe, generally we don't feel as good. Our bodies don't feel as good. Well, that's in a way a good example of the symbiosis between the land and our own light bodies, our own energy fields. Now, with the, with the introduction of the Magdalena energies, or should I say the return or resurrection of the Mag Magdalena energies to her rightful place, the idea is that we can find balance within the land and within ourselves. The Magdalena for me represents the female aspect of the Christ. Christ consciousness can also be referred to as Krishna consciousness, Horus consciousness, crystal consciousness. What, is all those, what do all those things essentially mean? Well, if I tried to sum the complexities of those ideas, in just a few words, I would say this. The idea of Christ consciousness, male or female, is the idea that us as human beings can hold within our field the macrocosm, the universal continuum. We can be a microcosmic extension of divine intelligence. We can hold God, if you like, or Godhead or Source, completely within our own framework. That's the idea of Christ consciousness. And this historical personage, Jesus Christ, demonstrated that. He came to the planet and demonstrated how it's possible to hold the energy of the miraculous infinite source within the human frame. And when he did that, as the stories went, he was a miracle worker. He was able to show how he was a master of frequency, a master of reception and transmission of energy. And he did that with key people around him. He be, be, built a matrix of energy around him with the 12 apostles in particular. And also, although it's not been mentioned very much in the last couple of thousand years, with his partner or his wife or whatever you want to call her, Mary Magdalene. And in combination, he was able to generate incredible success in healing, miraculous things which have been well reported in different ways. That concept can be taken to the modern day, how you may ask. Well, for me, the opening of the Magdalena energies and the integration with the male Christ energies is really can be encapsulated a simple formula which is held within the Star of David. The Magdalena is the triangle whose point is downwards, and that triangle is blue in colour, because the Magdalena represents, if you like, the pure love of the goddess. And the masculine version of that is the triangle pointed upwards, the red triangle, which is Christ is risen. This represents the male aspect of will, of divine will. And when the integration of love and will occur in perfect harmony, so that love becomes the absolute vehicle of any of our intention or the divine will manifesting. We have the blue and the red integrated to create a violet alchemical child. So if you imagine a triangle pointing downwards and a triangle pointing upwards and integrating, you will have within that center the violet alchemical child. These mysteries I discuss at length in my angelic code retreat. Not only, did, not only do I discuss them, I show people how to activate the heart center and work with incredible masculine and feminine energies of the Christ male and the Magdalena female to create a holographic PowerPoint where we can transcend disease, open our psychic abilities and live as enlightened beings on this planet. Do join me on retreat. Go to www.simonhinton.com for more information. Have a great day. Thank you.